We are making healthy ice cream out of bananas. Start out with some ripe bananas and chop them up. We are gonna freeze them overnight. Add your banana to a blender with vanilla, a pinch of salt, and some almond milk. Blend on low, make sure to press down the sides with your tamper until you get a thick, creamy consistency. Store in a container in the freezer and you have the perfect banana and ice cream. Add whatever toppings you want. I like to use cacao nibs and you are ready to enjoy. I could do it. Hey folks. This is Jeff Medici for JTT, and I'm going to make ice cream without using cream. Yes. And the main ingredient is, wait for it, bananas. i never done it before, so I'll give it a shot. I hope it comes out good. It's going to be like two phases. Like It's around like um, 12, 15, or 12, 25, midnight. So I'm not going to use a food processor because it makes a lot of noise. I'm going to freeze the bananas now. If you was laying was like, you know eight nine then I used to food processor but let's get this started first about three four bananas I have a big appetite so I can make a lot of it next you peel the bananas Done. Okay, all four bananas are peeled. Next, next, slice them up. Plastic pieces. Nice. And watch the fingers. Next, put it in your freezer bag. Is it black of course? See, okay, good. Yep, make sure they separate so that way they won't be too clumped up together. Like I said, I've never done this before. I've made some interesting things over the years. And there was a time where I was told that I can't boil water. And now I cook all sorts of stuff I never dream of cooking. You know, I made cheesecake from scratch. Um, made my own smoothie. I just simply freestyled it. I wasn't even following any specific recipe. I just like got cream, fruit, sugar, that's it. It tastes like a smoothie you buy in the store. Or in one of those restaurants. Um, using a crock pot to make stews and all that stuff. Maybe um, chicken, pheasant, or classic beef. You know, not be afraid to experiment and try to do some cooking. You know, just know the basics, then you'll be doing fine. Okay, as you tell, all bagged up. And the freezer go for a few hours. So that would be easy to. Um, to make it to an ice cream once you put in a fruit processor. Hey folks, this is Jeff from DCP JTT. And guess what? This be my second attempt to make bananas. Well, make ice cream out of pure bananas. Yeah, frozen bananas. Okay.
Yeah, say it. Quick look. I wonder. Let me get a spoon real quick. Okay, in four minutes. Mm. I can't believe this. It has, it has, um, it tastes like bananas, but it has the consistency of ice cream. That is wild. I'm going to continue to blend this a little bit more and I'm going to put it in a container, but it, you can do it. It can be, like I said, it tastes like, well, it's bananas, of course, yeah, but it has the consistency of ice cream. That's wild. I'm going to blend it a little bit more, then um, put it in the fridge rack, eat it for later. That's pretty cool. It's plausible. It's plausible. No question about it. It's plausible. If you enjoy this, um, like, share, subscribe. But let me blend this a little bit more. Hold on a moment. Okay. Raspberry, strawberry, blackberries. I could put this bad boy right in there. I don't sugar put almond in there. I don't think it's advisable, but I'll try. And I think I might have some blueberries in there too. If not, I'll put these guys in there. Okay, I think I add one more thing to this. I think I should have it. And it's some good old fashioned brown sugar. Some of you use cane sugar, it has to be a chemical in it, something. Brown sugar is way more natural. Light brown sugar. Let's see. Sugar diabetes, folks. I'll go for the sugar shot myself. Okay. I'll put the sugar away. Okay. Now, this is going to be loud and obnoxious, so hang on. I think I had some cream to this. Let's 
splash of cream, heavy cream that is. Okay. It's cross between um for a sec. Between a yogurt and a smoothie, but game is name the game doesn't make it like ice cream, but other than that, I have no complaints. This is pretty good. Mm. So the complaints. Put it in the fridge, then it come out like ice cream, and go from there. Other than that, so far so good. Okay, and the freezer goes. Either way, I think it's a win-win. It's good. So it comes out like ice cream. And now the final test. Ta-da! Okay, this um, this one started as bananas. The only thing I added extra is like you know, cream in there, but the base was bananas. Frozen bananas, that is. Mm hmm. You can taste bananas, but you also can taste, uh, I taste some strawberries, raspberries, and um, blackberries. It's good. It's decadent at the least. Mm. 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 You still make the um, ice cream with cream, but it's a longer, more pain in the neck. You think using the food processor is a pain in the neck? No, trust me, it's easy. All you gotta do is get some fresh bananas, freeze them, make sure they're frozen and all that, throw them in a food processor or blender, you gotta be careful um how you um how you blend them and all that. Other than that, they come out tasting with the consistency of ice cream. You can add whatever flavors you want, maybe chocolate, maybe strawberries, blackberries, whatever. I just threw a combination of raspberry, strawberries, and blackberries in there, and there you have it. This is good. Um chocolate, you use um natural dark chocolate, and even like just plain old vanilla, vanilla extract on there, that's a splash on it, it comes out good. Now you're gonna try to do homemade ice cream. Uh, trust me, I if I, I'm gonna try to do it, but it's more of a pain in the neck. You need a hand mixer, and believe it or not, if I saw the video correctly, you gotta work that hand mixer for eight minutes. Yes, eight minutes straight. Now like two minutes in, no, eight minutes straight. If you want the thing to come out, just like ice cream, it could be done. It could be done like they did back in the old days, but you're not gonna like it. This is not too bad, hard of a job to do. The way the other way is a lot more harder, a lot more of a pain in the neck. But if you do it right, it'd be worth it. It'd be more natural. But meanwhile, I'm gonna enjoy this. And folks, don't mind, because um, I do need to reach a thousand. So please um like, share, and subscribe. Cheers. Mmm mmm mmm.